So there, we saw lots of new announcements for the iPad series, including the new iPad Pro M4 and the iPad Air M2 at Apple's Let Loose event. However, there are 15 things that Apple didn't mention that you should know about, and let's go over them today. Now, the first thing that Apple didn't mention is anything to do with battery life on the iPads. And starting out with the iPad Pro, with that brand new OLED display, and also that the design is thinner now because of that new OLED display, you might think that potentially the battery life has been extended out. Well, the bad news is it looks like even with the M4, with that new OLED display as well, that actually battery life is the same amount that we had before. So for the 11 and and the 13 inch model it's still 10 hours battery life and just in case you're wondering for the brand new ipad air m2 for both the 11 and the 13 inch model both of them still also have a 10 hour battery life inside of them too but moving on to the iPad Pro's display, this brand new OLED display that's come out for them with a ProMotion built into it. Now the ProMotion is actually better than what we had before. The original ProMotion with the mini LED display and also the standard LED, what we've had in the last few generations, could go down to 24 hertz. This version though, can actually go down all the way to 10 hertz now with ProMotion, so that is definitely a game that we have right there. Then for the third thing that Apple did not mention, and that is to do with memory bandwidth on the M4 chip. Now this is a big one that Apple did miss out here, and that is now that memory bandwidth is 120 gigabits per second instead of 100 gigabits per second. We've actually had 100 gigabits per second on the M1, the M2, and the M3, and it looks like this has been boosted up now to, like I said, 120 gigabits per second on the M4. But this gives me a good chance to mention about the fourth thing we need to talk about, and that's actually to do with RAM, what's inside the iPad Pro models. Now, obviously, we do have the M4 chip inside of them, but if you were to pick the 256 gigabyte or the 512 gigabyte storage option, you only get eight gigabytes of RAM inside of the iPad Pro. Only if you pick the one terabyte or the two terabyte storage option do you get the 16 gigabyte RAM option inside of it. I think the disappointing news here again with M4 that they've only started out with eight gigabytes again and you can only get the actual higher 16 gigabytes if you spend much more money on storage instead. Well that is a bit of a disappointment I must say. And then that actually leads me on to the fifth thing to talk about, and that is the likes of the brand new iPad Air. No matter if you pick the 128 gigabytes of storage or go all the way up to the brand new one terabyte option, you will only get eight gigabytes of RAM with that M2 chipset. There is no 16 gigabyte option. But funny enough, on the likes of say the iPad Pro M2, if you picked a one terabyte option there, you actually got 16 gigabytes of RAM with that instead. But let's talk about the sixth thing that Apple did not mention, and that is to do with the cores inside of the M4. Now, funny enough, again, talk about that storage options that we just picked there. If you pick the one terabyte, or if you pick the two terabyte option, you do get the 10 core CPU inside of it. This is the one that Apple said up to 10 cores that you get in the presentation. But if you actually pick out the 256 gigabyte option or the 512 gigabyte option, you actually only get a nine core CPU instead of it. And one of the performance cores gets dropped inside of that. So just be aware of this if you want the ultimate M4 performance inside of your iPad Pro. Then moving on to number seven, and this is not too much of a big one, but we could see this one coming, and that is now finally, if you do pick the cellular option on the new iPad Air or the iPad Pro M4, you now only get an eSIM. There's no slot for the actual SIM card inside of it anymore. It's all going to be eSIM for both of these models going forward, so you're going to have to get an eSIM provider if you do want to have cellular built into your iPad this time round. 
And talking about cellular, this actually leads us onto the eighth thing to talk about, and that is to do with 5G connectivity for both the iPad Air and also the brand new iPad Pro. You do get 5G, but you do not get the new MM Wave technology, 5G technology, what the likes of, say, the iPhone 15 Pro models have inside of it. You just get the standard 5G. And I think the main reason behind this is that MM Wave hasn't been a big success in being rolled out around the world, to be honest. So I think Apple have just pulled back here a little bit and just giving you standard 5G. But if you do have MM Wave near you, you won't be able to use all the benefits with that if you do get yourself a cellular iPad. And then moving on to the ninth thing that Apple did mention, and to me, this is quite a big one that they didn't mention, and that is they brought out brand new smart folio cases, as you can see on Apple's website, and yeah, they are available for the brand new iPad Air and also for the iPad Pro with some brand new colors there too. But like I said, this just wasn't mentioned at the Let Loose event. Then the 10th thing to mention is all to do with the screen. Now, one thing that Apple did mention is that they're bringing out this brand new nano texture on the screens, what allows you to reflect light even more on the iPad Pro M4. But the one thing that they didn't tell you about is that this nano texture screen is only available on the one terabyte and the two terabyte option. You can't get this on the 256 or the 512 gigabyte option. And then the 11th thing that Apple did not mention, and this is to do with that brand new Apple Pencil Pro, the Apple Pencil Pro is only going to work on the likes of the brand new iPad Air M2 and also this brand new iPad Pro M4. If you have an iPad Pro M2 or an iPad Pro M1, for example, even though this is a Pro model, this new pencil will not work with it. What's quite strange, especially I would say with the M2 iPad Pro, essentially this is very similar to what we have with the iPad Air M2. So that is a bit of a bizarre one there. So just be warned before you go and buy that pencil that that is the case. Then for the 12th thing that Apple did not mention to us and that is to do with the baseline iPad. The 10th generation iPad got reduced down to $350 as was shown but something that was not mentioned is that the 9th generation iPad has been dropped altogether now. We do not have the 9th generation iPad with the A13 inside of it and this means now that Apple's full lineup has iPads with USB-C and no more iPads now with a lightning connector. Then for the 13th thing to mention, and this is something that you may have spotted yourself in the presentation, is now the iPad Pro only has one camera inside of it. It only has the wide camera inside of the wide lens now. The ultra wide like we have in the previous generations has completely gone now. There's only one camera here now with the LiDAR sensor, with that new flash too and the microphone setup. But the ultra wide camera has completely gone now from the iPad Pro. Then the 14th thing that Apple did not mention is to do with connectivity. Now, as you can see right here, the iPad Air was mentioned that we did get Wi-Fi 6E with it, but for the iPad Pro, this was not mentioned at all. You might be thinking we get Wi-Fi 7 because it's a Pro model. Well, I'm afraid not. It's still Wi-Fi 6E for the iPad Pro. So if you do have a Wi-Fi 7 router, you're not going to be able to use all the benefits for that. Then the 15th and the final thing that Apple did not mention, what I thought was quite bizarre, was the actual release date for these iPads. They kept on saying at their event, next week, next week, everything was available. They could have just said, available next week, Wednesday, the 15th of May, because the 15th of May is when you can get your hands on these brand new iPads and all the accessories that were mentioned too at this Apple event that we just had. And with that then, guys, those are my top 15 things that Apple did not mention to you at the Apple events, and I think they were quite important things to actually mention. What are your thoughts on this? And are you planning on getting yourself a new iPad Air or an iPad Pro? Let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.